Mr. Chairman, uh, we have uh, a substitute that you're going to see before you in just a minute, uh, but the subcommittee did not get to see that substitute. Uh, the bill has introduced to basically uh, take out the requirement uh, that a individual uh, uh, be given a opt-out on the HPV uh, vaccine. Uh, the subcommittee heard the pros and cons of that bill, uh, and they recommended reported three to two. However, uh, before you is a, an amendment in the nature of a substitute that the committee did not hear, and uh, I'd like to bring the committee's attention to that bill. Uh, this uh, substitute uh, is one that uh, basically produces a opt-in. However, it also requires that there be uh, information provided to every child, and if there is an opt-in, they will receive the three doses. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, as we went through the subcommittee report, uh, there were uh, questions about the opt-in, opt-out. Uh, this is one that is supported by the Medical Society and others, um, and I would move, for discussion purposes, the amendment in nature of a substitute, uh, and so that we can discuss that. It's been moved. Substitute is there a second? That substitute. It's been moved and second is that the substitute be adopted. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The substitute is before us. Are there any, for, any questions of the uh, subcommittee chair? <coughs> Um, Senator Newman. I have a couple of questions, I think, for staff. All right. Uh, direct your question to, to I guess it's going to be to you, Jason. Yes. We had um, a language that uh, indicated that uh, this would basically, on line 44 of the original bill, that uh, the provisions of information described in length between HPV uh, cancer shall be communicated to the parents and guardians uh, who enter the sixth grade. Is that all combined in your substitute? Yes. Further questions? <coughs> so, um, just to, to go further on that, uh, a parent or guardian at that point at their own discretion may choose whether to have the child receive uh, the three doses, but it would do, at that point become an opt-in. Chairman, uh, I know there may be some discussion, but uh, to get the bill in the proper place, I would move that the amendment in nature of the uh, substitute be agreed to. Well, it's, already, it's already been adopted, so the question is whether or not it gets reported. All right, the motion is to move to report. Are there any further questions that has been heard by the subcommittee? Yes, Senator Powell. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is by way of speaking against the uh, substitute. Right, before you do, are there any questions? Okay, so I was very proud several years ago to be the one who uh, put in the bill to require the um, uh, to require that um, vaccines be um, given to girls with HPV to prevent HPV. I'm sorry. I was very proud of that. Um, and since that time, we found that it not only prevents cancers in young women and women, but it also protects men from cancers. I can't imagine why we would want to get rid of such a positive thing. Preventing cancer is something that we've all prayed to have happen, and now the day is here. We have a vaccine that will prevent cancer. So what I've been observing the last several weeks, the last six weeks, since the Republicans got domination here in Richmond, is we are racing to the dark ages for ideological reasons. And I think it's All right, really the, the sad. Senator will suspend. I'm going to go into the, 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 uh, the, the motives of the body. But you can put those sorts of things in press releases if you want, but it's totally inappropriate in committee for speaking to the bill and actually what it does, not to the structure of the Senate or the motivations of any member. Mr. Right. Chairman, I was so, not talking to motivation. I was talking to what's happening to this state. We're and, racing to the dark and, ages. And by whom who's racing there. All right, thank you. Um, all right, the, the motion is before the clerk may call. Mr. Chairman. Senator Norfolk. No, I'm sorry, Parker. I didn't even look. 
I'm sorry, Senator Parker. I, I, I'm actually sorry, Senator Norman. <laughs> Senator Parker. <laughs> Mr. Chair, uh, I also uh, strongly would urge the committee to reject the substitute that's before us now. Uh, HPV is an extraordinarily significant public health issue. Uh, under the way things have, have operated for years, uh, up until we had this HPV uh, vaccine, uh, we've had a situation where over 80 percent of the women uh, in the United States get HPV at some time in their life. Some of the strains of HPV are not particularly deadly other strains are extraordinarily deadly and extraordinarily powerful. Uh, HPV clearly causes cervical cancer and it is related to other types of cancer as well. And it seems to me that as a public health matter, we should make sure that we have a policy that uh, states that it's a policy of the Commonwealth that the individuals who are at risk for this should, be, uh, should, uh, should receive this vaccine. We do currently have a law and op out provision, and that provision has, uh, I think it does provide people the ability to choose for any reason they should, they should desire not to have the vaccine, but I think it's extraordinarily bad public policy to take such a critical public health issue and say that it, that uh, we do not believe that it's something that should be, uh, should be required. The bill having been heard and uh, in the subcommittee, it's been mentioned substitute, uh, the motion is before us to report the bill as an amendment. It's not to substitute the clerk will call the law. Senator Lucas. I mean, Senator Sandlock. No, by proxy. Senator Lucas. Senator Howe. No. Senator Newman. Aye. Senator Levin. Aye. Senator Locke. No. Senator Barker. No. Senator Northam. No. Senator Miller. No. Senator Smith. Aye. Senator McWhorter. Aye. Senator Black. Yes. Senator Carrico? Yes. Senator Garrett? Aye. Senator Martin? Yes. Aye. Aye. No, whatever. <laughs> Senator Lucas tried to vote twice. <laughs> the, uh, the bill is reported as an amendment of the extra substitute of uh, 8 to 7. All right. I was going to take up health licensure. Uh, what, what we're going to do real quick, well, let's, let's do that, as I said, but let's, uh, Senator Massey, your bill is delicate. so delicate, Massey. I don't know how you take that insult, but, but uh, you have got something that's so simple that I want you to hear. It's very bipartisan, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, House Bill uh, 629, Mr. Chairman, would uh, increase the number of Board of Visitor members at the University of Virginia 